What's up guys, T Square Games here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the Pyraminx without algorithms. Now the thing about the Pyraminx is it's a puzzle that looks much harder to solve than it actually is. In actuality you really only need to solve two layers the first one and the second one because the third one will just solve itself so honestly I would say that it would probably take you I don't know around or less than an hour to memorize all the steps needed to solve this every time now the first step in solving the pyraminx is actually to scramble it so if yours isn't scrambled already you should do that now And uh, don't forget to turn these uh, like tip parts so they're unscrambled as well. So now once you have a scrambled pyraminx, the first step you need to do is align the tip parts, which are these ones, uh, with the colors that they are. So you just align them so they're like that. Each one has a correct alignment. And there's, they're always going to match up like that. Now the next step you want to do is find each tip that has blue on it. Or really any color, but I like to solve blue. So this one, this one, and this one. So you want to put your finger on all of these and remember them. And so what you want to do is these pieces that are connected to the tips, uh, you want to get all of these blue on the same side. So what you want to do is you want to turn all of these until they're all blue on the same side. Now that you have all of these blue on the same side, you have to put the blue on the bottom and look for a blue piece in the second layer uh, that you can use to place in to one of these spots here. Now, for example, this one that I found is blue on one side and green on the other side. So I need to place it where the green is, which is right here. So I bring it across over here to the green side. And now I, since it's on the right side, I bring it over to the left, lift up the right side, the side it was on. I bring it back and I pull it back down. And there you can see that the edge is correctly placed in. And now here's the other one, the red one, as the yellow one was already placed in before. And the red one is on the left side so I'm going to align it with the red side, which it already is, by turning the top. Uh, and since it's on the left side, I turn it over to the opposite, which is the right. I lift up the left, the side it was on. I bring it back, and then I pull it down. And uh, you can see there that that actually solves my pyraminx, but more importantly, it will solve the first layer, which is what our goal was from the start. After that, I'll show you what some cases are with this top layer because it's not always going to solve perfectly like this. Now a case you can have in the second layer uh, is when you have one color matching on one side but this one does not. Same here. This one matches on one side but this one does not. And then this last piece does not match on any side. What you want to do here is you want to hold the non-matching piece that doesn't match on either side and hold it to the back. Then you look on this side that is now facing towards you and you look which side has the wrong color. Then what you do is you take this side, which is the right side in this case, and you bring it down. Then you bring down the other side, which is the left. Then you bring the original side back up the right and then bring up the left. And now you'll see that this displaces one of our blue edges. And so we have to put this back now. So we just rotate it across like we would when we were solving the first layer. We bring it across to the side that it is not on. We bring up the side it was on. We bring it back and we place it down. And you can see that that will solve your pyraminx. Now conversely, if that, uh, empty, that uh, missing piece is on the left side, what you would do is you would bring down the left first, then the right, and then bring back up the left and then the right. And then you place in the edge like normal and your pyramids is solved. Now, if you have 
this case, uh, where all of these are like matched up but they're different colors, like they're not aligned to the right color, then you need to turn the top face to see which way it needs to go. So if it needs to go to the left to match it up, when you turn it from the top, you see it turned to the left to match up the colors. Then you turn it back and you lift up the right, turn the top once to the right, bring down the right, turn the top to the right again, bring the right up again, turn the top right, and bring the right down. And there you go, your pure mix is solved. Here is the opposite case of the previous one in which the colors, in order to be aligned, need to be turned to the right instead of the left. In this case, you can look at any of the sides as long as your soft face is down, which is blue in our case. Uh, and then you perform the set of steps. You lift up the right side. You turn the top to the left this time instead of the right. You bring down the right, turn the top to the left again. Bring the right up, top, left again, and bring down the right. And you'll see that that solves your pyramix. Now, the final case you might have is a bit of a weird one, but it's pretty easy to solve nonetheless. In this case, you have one edge that is perfectly aligned with both sides, and the other two edges are not aligned in any way. What you do here is you hold your solved edge to the back and perform any of the sets of steps that would have solved the pyramid that I showed before. For example, I'm going to do the one as if this is the incorrect edge and this is the correct edge with our wrong edge on the back where I turn the right down, left down, lift the right up, and lift the left up. Now after placing in our blue edge, you can see that we return to a solvable state which we have seen earlier. In this case, I see that I have to turn to the right, so I will do the right side algorithm, which would be to lift up the right, bring the top to the left, right down, top left again, right up, top left, and right down. And this will solve my pyramix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to solve your pyramix. Uh, make sure to check out my other tutorials if you need help solving any other cubes. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. T squared out.